Yeah, but we do want to take you to Hot Springs where Madison Gaffner is standing by. She has been in the thick of things at Oaklawn, and I believe totality has reached Hot Springs. The crowd right there Look experiencing at totality there in Hot go. Springs. There we go. That's Madison, right. tell us about we it. That's right, we just hit the total solar eclipse. You can hear people cheering. It was so quiet with anticipation right before this moment. Now it is getting darker and darker. People are looking up to the sky to watch. It's lasting here about three minutes and 37 seconds. Let's look at this crowd. I mean, the phones are going up to the sky. People are out here with cameras and telescopes to capture this wonderful moment. This is beautiful. I mean, just amazing. Right now, all you can see are diamonds around that are happening all over in the sky. This is my first total solar eclipse, like many of those that are here today at Oaklawn. And I mean, it couldn't be a better place and with better people to share this moment with people from Atlanta, Georgia, North Carolina, Nebraska, Virginia, young and old coming out to watch this historic event. Now, maximum totality for us here in Hot Springs is at 151 and the end of the partial totality is at 310. So some people are even out here videoing. They've been out here capturing these moments all day. I got to look through a telescope earlier and wow, it was just beautiful. I'm looking up right now and you can see we were able to take the sunglasses off and it is just shining bright around the sun and the moon. It is gorgeous. If you have time to step outside right now, I would do so. Now the horses do have the day off because the races were ended this last weekend and now they're in the comfort of their own stall. I'm Madison Gaffner reporting live here in Hot Springs, Arkansas at the Oakland Racing and Casino. Now back to the studio. It's incredible. We hear you guys. Yes, we hear you guys. We are out here right now. It is getting dark. Look, it is getting look, Okay, we see look, it right look, now. Guys. Don't look at that. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh my gosh! We are going into totality <laughs> right now. You can see the Bailey beams so cool. there off on the side. You see there's a bright spot on the very bottom of the moon. That is where the light is shining through the valleys of the mountains <laughs> on the moon, y'all. We can perceive terrain here on Earth. <laughs> this is incredible. This is amazing. It is, I have chills. To, yeah, <laughs> so we do have some high thin clouds and we're starting to see the corona now shining around the edges. I'll be, this is. I mean, it's literally yeah, so dark outside stars. too. If you guys cannot, if you guys cannot tell, it is dark, it is cold. And what you're pointing out, every, everything that you're pointing out it's just incredible to see in person. It is amazing. It is absolutely <laughs> amazing. Totality in the Little Rock. Wow. This is what we've been waiting for. We've mm -hmm. been waiting to see this, and now you see it, as well as all of those people who are in the River Market Amphitheater watching it, seeing it in action. We have waited so long for this moment. And the reaction from both Joel and Samantha, you can oh, tell wow. that it's just kind of a, you know, one of those things that catches you a little off guard if you haven't seen it before Joel has. Now here's that. here's a live look. Is this Conway? I need to double check with our producers because we were told we were going to. This is this is us right here. This is downtown Little Rock. This is another view of what everyone mm -hmm. is seeing as we speak. Bob, total eclipse of the sun. There it is. I mean, that, this is one of those things. And I think the next one is in. It's in 21 years from now. So, and I can tell you this because Kevin and I were talking about our 20th year anniversary on Fox 16. So we got to wait another 20 40. years. Yeah, yes. Do it all over again. <laughs> exactly. My gosh. This is so wonderful to see. Even though we're right here in the studio, Bob, I still feel what so many people out there are feeling at this moment. Just to look at that image. I mean, this is one of those things that the moon, you know, our celestial friend forever, you know, has just parked itself in front of the sun, blotting out. Mm -hmm. what keeps this planet alive. And here Thanks. you're looking at people in Circe. They, uh, you can see all eyes up to the sky mm -hmm. as people watch this show, this beautiful, beautiful show of Mother Nature and the gods and all that put this together. And it's one of those things, everybody is experiencing this mm -hmm. at the same exact time. Mm -hmm. Emotions are completely different. They're probably as varied as the folks who are there, but mm -hmm. it's something that 
everyone's going to everyone will have a t-shirt i tell eclipse you what, arkansas 2024 from mexico to maine and it's making it stop right now in the state of arkansas this is hot springs that you're looking at here all of these are live videos that we're showing you of what's going on children playing i can remember when i was a kid i remember and i saw an uh, eclipse yep. and my mom and my dad we were in the they backyard these kids i know they're playing right here but they're going to remember this well, Bob, Donna, just moments ago, everybody was clapping. Now you can hear a little bit of silence as everybody takes everything in. Can you tell me how you're feeling looking at this eclipse right now? I just feel like a very small spectator of a very large event. Can you tell me emotionally how are you feeling right now? Odd. Odd by the whole thing, yes. Thank you so much. And how are you feeling right now? This is the man sitting right next to her. Very excited about this. You can't take your eyes off of it, really. It's wonderful. How long have you been waiting to see this? Well, I saw one once before, so like seven years. Long time. <laughs> Thank you so much. And we got another man just taking it all in all. Can you tell me emotionally how you're feeling? Uh, it's just humbling. That's all I can say. It's, uh, it's speechless. So you heard it here from him himself. It's speechless. It's humbling. It's one of the best things that people have seen reporting in Batesville. I'm Talisa Hampton. Back to you. Quick point uh, um, that I want to make. You saw they did not have their glasses on. They were looking because up. Because they didn't it, it is, need it at that it's point. To, it's, it's totality at this point. It's when it starts to shift is when the damaging rays come through. But I think you even have to be careful with that because, you know, you yep. can start watching it and then too much of the sun is exposed and your eyesight yep. can, can definitely suffer from that. But um, it's kind of nice, though, to be able to take the glasses off and see it. It is, and, you, and you, I guess you want to think of the word that would sum today up, and that would be odd. Odd. She was awed yeah. by uh, it how, all. How, how can you not be? One guy was speechless, but at least he was able to tell mm -hmm. us he was speechless, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but And it's great, too, seeing um, our reporters, you know, the younger and the older ones, especially the younger ones who haven't seen a, um, an eclipse. Gary caught me off guard. It caught him off guard. Yeah. So he really was kind of like not expecting a lot, and he was kind of taken aback by the whole thing. And I was touched by Madison, who said, this is the first time I've ever seen an eclipse, but, you know, she's always going to remember doing the story in Hot Springs. Mm-hmm at Oak Lawn. Yeah.